back when I was in a middle school or secondary school, I used to take 10 subjects. We're talking about subjects like physics, subjects like mathematics, additional maths, and even chemistry. These subjects requires a lot of memorizing. You need to understand the concept, memorize the formula, and finally applying them. Every now and then working as a teacher, I often get this question from the students, right? How did you manage to memorize so many formula and then you're gonna apply them in your daily teaching some more? So how did I manage to do it? Hi student, this is Mr. Elvin. So today I'm gonna to show you a technique or a tool called the formula triangle, okay? So whenever possible, you're just gonna use the formula triangle and reduce the number of things to memorize. Here's how. Having a look at the screen right now, there are actually three different formulas shown to you that are actually interrelated. So for me, instead of memorizing three different formula, I memorize one formula triangle instead. When it comes to formula triangle, there's actually two parts that you need to pay attention. Number one is how to use them. And number two is how to memorize the layout of the formula triangle. Okay, so now if you see the formula triangle, there's actually three empty spaces. So one, two and three. These three empty spaces are divided into two separate lines, okay? So the first separate line is this one. This is the place where it's actually like divide, division, okay? Now another separation line is over here where you can actually see side by side means multiply, okay? So there's actually like a multiplication here and then there's actually a division line over here. Here is how to use a formula triangle. Now, I want you to observe that I did not write the words inside the triangle. Instead, use the letters of the word. So distance, you're gonna write D. Speed, you're gonna write S. And time, you're gonna write T. Okay, that's the first step. Second step is, how am I supposed to extract the formula for distance? You're gonna use your palm, right? Kinda cover like the letter D. Now you can see that the formula for distance is actually speed times time. Side by side means multiply, all right? Now, if I were to get the formula for speed, you're gonna use your palm once again, cover up the letter S. So you can see the speed formula is now distance divided by time, all right? Now, if I were to get the formula for time, then I'm gonna use my palm, cover up the letter T, you will see that time is actually distance divided by speed. So there you go. You can actually get three formulas from one single triangle. Now that you know how to use the formula triangle, the second part is to know where are the alphabets, how to put the alphabets into the triangle itself, right? So I'm going to show you how to memorize certain formula. For example, the DST formula, you can come up with a funny acronym like do silly things, okay? DST. Now, I can leave the creative part up to you. The formula triangle is actually a very powerful tool where you can actually use it for other formula as well. Let's show you the formula around density. You're going to lay out M, V, D into the triangle, right? M stands for mass, volume is V, and density, you're going to use the letter D. Now, if I were to get the formula for mass, you're going to cover the letter M. So mass is actually volume times density, side by side, right? So if I were to get the formula for density, cover the letter D, it's actually mass divided by volume. So this line is for divide. Alright, one last time. If I were to get the formula for volume, you're going to cover the letter V. So volume is actually mass divided by density. So there you go. Now when it comes to the density triangle MVD, you can come up with a funny acronym yourself or if you can't think of one, let me give you. You can think about money very dirty, MVD. Now let's say your teacher didn't put the formula triangle for you. You can actually practice putting yourself one. For example, F equals to MA. Notice that M times A is the multiplication part. So put it at the bottom of the triangle while F, you're gonna put it on top. All right, another one. So let's say the teacher teach you N equals to CV. Do you know how to put them into the formula triangle? I'm gonna share some of the famous or popular formula triangle for the subjects like physics, mathematics, and also chemistry. So take out your book and stationaries, start copying.
So the secret is out. I used a lot of formula triangle back when I was a student and even more so as a teacher in my classes. So that's how I memorize a lot of formula. Now if you find the channel to be useful to you, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more education tips and tricks, especially when it comes to mathematics, alright? So I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye.